Time to start looking at some practical application questions. But have you realized that dimensional analysis just makes this so easy? Look at this. A bowling lane is approximately 19 meters long. Okay, so I'm going to start with 19 meters. So I know I'm going to have to convert that thing. And it says, what is the measurement? Ah, to the nearest foot. So I know I got to get rid of meters and I know I want feet. And there's my nice little conversion table right from your data table in yep, your formula sheet. Lovely. So finally, feet to meters. Oh, okay. There's feet to meters or I can go meters to feet. It doesn't matter which one. Pick one. Okay. I'm going to pick, well, I'll pick the bottom one. 3.281 feet makes up one meter. And look at this. Dimensional analysis tells us meters and meters cancel. I know this is going to be in feet. Okay. So I'm going to go 19 times 3.281. Okay. 19 times 3.281 gives me, look at that, 62, 62.3. Okay, 62.3. Now it says to the nearest foot. Uh oh, so get rid of that. This is going to be 62 feet. Done. Super simple, isn't it? Take a look at this next question. The next question says, okay, it says, check this out. After a meeting in a Soyuz BC, Emma drove 114 kilometers north. Okay, so here's the meeting right there in a Soyuz. Okay, she drove 114 kilometers north. Okay, and Lana drove 68 miles south. Okay, there's 68 miles south. Okay, perfect. Now, question is, who drove further? I don't know. Well, convert one into either kilometers or the other one. Oh, wait, this one's in miles, so might as well put the units down. Now you see how important units are. Okay, so convert one to the other. Okay, let's convert this. I'm a metric kind of guy, so get rid of this miles for me. That drives me a little crazy. Miles on the bottom, kilometers on top. Where's our conversion? Our conversion is back up here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Okay, so one mile, 1.609 kilometers. So one mile, 1.609 kilometers. Oh, easy, 68 times 1.609. All right, 68 times 1.609. And look what I got. Boom, I got 109 kilometers. Okay, so I got 109 kilometers. So who drove further? Oh, whoever drove 114, that's got to be Emma. Emma drove further because the other one's just 109 kilometers. There you go. That's how this works. Let's do one more question and go on to the next. Okay. Nora knows that she's five feet, seven inches tall. Well, there's the problem. You're dealing with two different imperial units. You're dealing with feet and inches. Okay. So let's go five feet. Let's go convert that into inches. Feet on the bottom, inches on the top. All right, we know we got 12 inches per one foot. Five times 12, I think, is 60 inches. Plus, you got another seven inches there. Okay, so you're dealing with a total of 67 inches. Okay, we want to figure out how many centimeters that is. Okay, simple. Inches on the bottom, centimeters on top. What's the conversion? Can you remember? I can't. So let's go back to our table. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's that one that's really, really important that we use this one here, right? That one, 2.540, right? Okay, so let's make sure we use that 2.540 centimeters. Here we go, 2.540 centimeters per one inch. So 67 times 2.540, 67 times 2.540 works out to be 170 centimeters. Okay, 170, 100 and what? 170, I was right, okay, 170 centimeters. And you know what's interesting? If you talk to anybody from Europe, they don't use inches at all. That kind of freaked me out first time I heard this. I asked a person, how tall are they? And they said, oh yeah, I'm 170 centimeters. I went, huh? And I'm so used to feet and inches, but you gotta remember, the rest of the world is all metric, baby. 